moving on from the apps icon down here at the bottom where we're able to add more apps into our Apple CarPlay or Android Auto, we're gonna go ahead and click over to the settings icon. Now here is gonna be the entire car settings so I can adjust things like sound, I can adjust things like the display, general settings, which will change things like language, uh, types of unit of temperature, I've got units of measure within here, units of tire pressure, I've got uh, the touch button, so when you're clicking and you're hearing that audible noise, if you don't want to, you can turn that feature off. About the sync system, you've got licensing and software, and then master reset at the bottom, should you need to do that. Uh, I've got the clock, so the clock can read in 24 hour time or 12 hour time. You can set what uh, you can set what zone you're in as well, should you need to change that, but it should read automatically via where the vehicle is located within the world. So I've got phone list up here. I can connect several different devices and pan between them. So if I don't want to listen to this phone's music or its Android or Apple CarPlay, I can add another device and I can listen to its CarPlay or use its features and I can pan back and forth to as many devices I, as I would like. Uh, so you're not subject to just having one phone on there and being connected at one time. Moving on over, I've got the sounds menu. I can adjust, I can adjust where I want my tone settings to be. I can adjust where I want my balance to be, uh, what type of stereo I wanna use. So there's several, several different options within this. You can really adjust your stereo how you see fit. I don't have a particular preference. I like to keep it where Ford pre-auto sets it. Next, you've got connectivity and vehicle Wi-Fi hotspot. So you can pay a monthly subscription for Wi-Fi in this vehicle. It's capable of reaching up to 150 feet outside of it. And from my understanding, it's somewhere less around $20 a month through AT&T but contact your local internet provider through AT&T to figure out exactly what the cost is for you in your area. I've also got the Ford Assistance button down here. If I wanna change the way the Ford Assistance interacts with me in the vehicle, you can also interact with the Ford Assistance via the steering wheel icon here. And I'll show you a little bit more of that as we move towards the steering wheel. You've got valet mode, which I have mentioned in previous videos, but if you're not watching those videos, you should be. And don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe to all of our videos here on YouTube to get more content so we can make more videos and push out more data for you guys. Valet mode is a great feature. It is a four digit pin that you're going to set up on your vehicle. So what that's gonna do is it's gonna actually lock down all your personal data. So via the Ford navigation system, if you have your home set up, if you have certain people's uh, contacts inside the computer system here, it will save those. But when you go into the valet mode, it'll lock everything down and put the vehicle in a transportation type mode, which puts it in a limp mode as some people know of. It's gonna reduce the amount of speed and throttle responsiveness that the vehicle has. It's going to, as I mentioned, lock down your personal data so it can't be viewed. Essentially, this screen will be almost black. So it's a four digit pin. Please do not forget it because then you'll have to come see us over here at Ford to get it unlocked. And that's not gonna be a fun trip. You've also got things such as um, system updates. So what Ford wants you to do on these new Sync 4 systems is they would like for you guys to actually set it up on your home Wi-Fi. What that allows the vehicle to do is update at a faster pace. Through your Ford Pass Connect app, you can actually tell it when you'd like it to do updates. So for example, if you're in your home between 2 a.m. and 4 a.m., that seems to be a pretty good hot spot for, for a vehicle to be parked at your home. On a weekly basis, you can tell it, I would like you to update if need be between 2 a.m and 4 a.m. Monday through Friday, and that will be the only times it receives updates because that's the time when you're asleep. You definitely don't wanna come out to your Ford vehicle and find out that you have an update in the morning just before you're about to take off. We wanna start our day off right and see that our updates have already taken place and we've got new features to start our day off right. 
All right, so that's it for the settings on this particular infotainment system. And I know I didn't go through each one of these tabs, but they're a little bit uh, specific to the way you want your vehicle to be.